One, two, three, four years completed, but time just will not stop. In terms of quests released per year, this one sits at the top. 22 full years of questing, can't use a bank, must stay alive. RuneScape 3, Hardcore Ultimate Iron Man, questing through 2005. Welcome back to February 28th, 2005. We want to go do some more Slayer. But for that, we want the Ectophile. So we need to get that back from Velarina here. And for that, we needed to go get the Ghost Speak Amulet and run all the way over here. Can I have another Ectophile? Of course you can. You've helped us more than we could ever have hoped. Ectoplasm. There you go. So now we can get back over here easily enough. Run over to Monstrina. Keep getting more tasks. Gonna have to do this every single time that we destroy the Ectophile. But that's okay. Starting off with a vampire's task, if, because of course we are. Monstrina is very consistent. We'll see if we're going to be getting any new tasks here anymore. I think there's still a few we could technically get, so. See if there's anything interesting to look at. Mostly just doing Slayer. No, Mastrina and Ku don't exist yet. Looks like we've bumbled again to get enough Slayer points. Two at a time here. We can get rid of that. Try again, Mastrina. A task that actually exists. On the plus side, if we keep on dealing with this, we're not going to have any Slayer points when they actually exist. So that solves that problem. Cave Crawlers. Okay. Fine. 54 Slayer. That's nothing. Actually managed to get some supplies together here. To actually make some potions. From all the fairly rare secondaries here. Strength potion and a an regular anti-poison. Why not? Enough to get 52 Herboy. That is a quest requirement and super energy, which is Avento and Mortmire Fungi. And those do exist. So that's technically a thing we could do. We could also drink this strength potion. That's not going to help very much since we are ranging. So that's okay. Cave crawler task complete. Well, that's something. A new Slayer monster task here. Killer Watts. Except those don't exist, so cannot. And that means we have to go to Birthorp. Alright. Let's see what we get from Turiel instead. Yeah, Killer Watts are definitely stronger than he would normally give. But let's get a new task. Lose the task streak, which we don't care about, really. Yes, please. New task is 11 wolves. Okay. Well, we are right near White Wolf Mountain. So, we can accomplish that. Wolf task complete. They don't drop anything. There's also a lot of new, different level wolves. So we went for not the lowest level ones. Doesn't matter a huge amount, either way. 78. Constitution. More life points. And also a quest requirement. Wild stuff. They really do sneak up on you. Well, less so with the big circles. It's a little bit more noticeable. But still. More healing from the sharks. Should be 195 now. Ogre task completed. And another task that doesn't exist. Crocodiles. Back to Turiel. Another wolves task completed. A new Slayer Monster task that does exist. 83 jellies. Interesting. Heading way into the 
Fremnic Slayer dungeon here. Skipping over the Basilisks for now. I'm actually fine with that. Further and further in here to get to the jellies. They're level 68, but don't let that fool you. They are pretty strong with the monster buffing stuff that happened. Let's see them look inside them. They got all sorts of weird stuff. A little weird beaten heart. That one's got a hammer. <laughs> Anyways, we're here to fight the jellies, not observe them. We've got 100% accuracy. They've got a very healthy amount of health. And they do a bit of damage. Our low level range armor is definitely not up to the task. We're taking plenty of damage here. This could be a multiple trip kind of task. That's what it's looking like. Anyways, drops wise, there's not much to be seen here. We're going to be able to get a few different kinds of salvage and coins. That's pretty much it. There have been large changes to the drop table here. And they drop some weird stuff like logs and a whole bunch of other things that they didn't originally drop. There's one of those salvages though. Small play of mithril. Not bad. And that would have been the mithril boots that we would have been able to get here. Not a thing anymore. Well, it's a thing in the mining and smithing rework. So. Wouldn't pick them up anyways since we're doing range right now. So. This is definitely a task. And there's an orange. Weird stuff. Weird stuff for sure. Okay. Here's something. A hard clue scroll. Have been ignoring clue scrolls pretty much entirely. But it's technically possible we could get something good here. So let's see what the first step is at least. Locus between the tables in Shiloh Village Bank. Equip a split bark helm, mud pie, and room plate body. Getting a split bark helm would be an absolute mess and we wouldn't be able to keep it for doing the step again so I don't think that's a good idea and also a mud pie doesn't even exist so that is a definite no on this hard clue scroll some of the things that we could get here from a hard clue would be like black dragon hide which would be much much tankier at least we might be able to get that. The drop tables have also changed pretty significantly. Yeah, looked it up. Never mind. <laughs> it does drop some black dehyde variants eventually, but those don't exist yet. And the regular black dehyde, like top hand chaps, were replaced with just black dragon hide the hide part so not very helpful with our crafting level also that wouldn't be an accurate drop so not gonna worry about that continuing did get a nice rune salvage here that replaced the rune full helm that we would have gotten so that's at least some elk money which is something getting Absolutely shredded here. Used up all the prayer points. We'll see if this is going to be a two or maybe even three trip task here. My goodness. Pretty strong. Pretty strong. 55 Slayer. And that is an interesting one. That is a whole pile of things here. Leaf bladed spear does exist. Broad arrows, we should use with the magic shortbow. Very good. Front tipped bolts, no. 
Slayer Staff, yes. Leaf Blade Swords, no. Turoths, yes. And that's what we need all these broad and leaf bits to do. All these are special Slayer weapons that are required to hunt Turoths. And then also, down here, you have the ability to hunt big game creatures in Anachronia with 75 Hunter. Specifically, Arcane, Apoterosaurs, Simitops, and Bagrata Rex. Those do not exist. So if we get a Turoth task now, we're going to need to figure out what we're going to do about that. Could be interesting. Task complete. Solidly a two trip task here. Also got a second rune salvage, so that was a lot more money. Those opt for 24,000 coins. Just wild. No complaints about that. <laughs> this adamant one replaced a completely different drop from a completely different drop. No, that's not something we can have. What we can have is more slayer tasks, though. 75 ranged. Well, that's some interesting things. Two quest requirements, the Cast Dwarf Hand Cannon, Armadillo Crossbows, Shadow Tendrils, and Mechanized Chinchampas. None of those exist yet. Hand Cannon is definitely interesting, but again, doesn't exist yet. Whereas down here, Rock Slugs having a time. <laughs> Manually salting every single one. Yay. <laughs> Bought enough salt. It's not a problem. But definitely more works than some other tasks. I'm trying to see what level of hit points remain we can actually salt them. Because we don't need to be all the way down to no health left. But still. Getting not a lot of stuff here. That's okay. Just some coins is always just fine, so can't really complain. Just going to finish this task right there. And now we get to leave. Ogre task completed. Time to fix a mistake. While working on the previous episodes, editing and all that, found out that rock slugs don't drop coins yet. Should have looked at the drop table a little more closely. That's okay. But we can fix it, because I've went back through the three rock slugs tasks that I've done, and discovered exactly how many coins we're not supposed to have. This is being incredibly, incredibly unnecessarily pedantic about everything here. But we are going to make things correct here. Withdraw 10,250 coins. Drop those. And repick up the 4 million. Ah, 4362. Four, three, I was trying to make it so it wouldn't go in the money pouch. So I could keep the correct amount of money. Four, four, three, six, two. Okay. Yeah, we can actually. I can get the actual correct number. I'll be fine. <laughs> Next layer task is green dragons. Ah, I have an interesting idea for that. I did grab an anti dragon shield in case this doesn't work out. But from my research here, it should be and still should be the case that against chromatic dragons, specifically the colored ones, that's what that means, protect from magic should mostly negate the dragon fire. And also they attack with magic now too, so that's another win. So this would this should allow us to fight with the crystal bow instead of the dragon mace, which will be so much better. Going to 
protect from magic and attack. If we take massive damage, we just put the shield back on. 100% accuracy. And we just obliterate the dragons. Did a little bit of dragony looking stuff there. Didn't take a bunch of damage. So we can go around. Making that work. Don't know if we would leave and then come back. Like go to the monastery or something to get more prayer. All depends on how long it takes, I suppose. Yeah, this is a very effective way to get some dragon bones here. As long as we still have the prayer, of course. We're gonna do the whole kill all the dragons in <laughs> just a few hits. And then turn it off again. <laughs> Keeping it normal running around and burying bones and stuff would not be very helpful. Gotta try to preserve it slightly here. I just stand here in the middle. Just attack. Seems to be working so far. I think this should be good. See if we can do an entire task without running out of prayer though. Worst case scenario, we can always just put on the shield and stuff. So it'll be alright. Yeah, that's definitely definitely fire happening there. So this is working. This is working great. There's another weird drop. A Fremnic equipment patch. That does not exist yet. That's part of the newer wilderness drop table business. That is definitely an interesting thing. I don't know if we would be able to make much use of, even if it did exist. At least not yet, obviously. It's for <laughs> something else. Also managed to make it like 80% of the way through the task here with the prayer before it ran out. So just a few more dragons left. In fact, one more dragon left. So not really worth running away and getting prayer back. Well, that's okay. Yeah, let's back on. Take these and this and out this. Yep, green dragon's task. Completed. Foregoing a shield isn't going to work for this one, though. New task. New Slayer monster. Basilisks. Okay. We're going to need to get the mirror shield here. Buy that. And that means, in this situation, we might end up needing to take off the ranged armor, too. We will see how our accuracy is doing. Going to need more food, for sure. Okay, let's see. It really would be convenient to have a one-handed ranged weapon or something. Uh, oh, fine. Any of those that exist are just too difficult to get any amount of actual usage out of anyways. So, we're just going to be in this giant mess. Massalisk, level 77. They are melee enemies, so they attack with melee, and magic would be ideal. Start with 45% hit chance here. Special attack has more accuracy, which is nice. Gonna see if we can get them to do a bunch of damage, then we can take off the range armor, which also is just really not helping with not taking more damage. 70. Yeah, they, they can hit 88. They can hit pretty hard. We're going to start taking stuff off here. And look at the drops. They can drop salvage. They can drop a bunch of damage on us. The unique drop of the Light Mystic hat. Very fun. Go with the Light Mystic gloves that we helped before. And herbs, like this one right here. Water runes and coins. Really would have liked the pile of nature runes drops. Well, they don't exist anymore. So that's unfortunate. 
Yeah, taking off all the armor up to 72% accuracy. That's a little better. And the special attack gets up to 100. Very nice. So yeah. Still worth bringing a full inventory and just going through the first four, taking off the armor. Still pretty good. So yeah, they are. They are hidden damage. My goodness. And if we weren't wearing the shield, it would be even worse. As wild as that is. And some elks. Okay. So we will fight these over what is looking to be very likely multiple trips. <laughs> okay, these are atrocious. <laughs> that is two inventories of food completely used, and we still have 38 more, getting 11 or 12 kills per trip here. So it's going to take four more trips to get this done. E even among the other monsters that have been massively buffed in the 2023 Necromancy XP nerf monster buff update, these are taking the cake, my goodness. It would probably be better if we could physically use magic here, which would, in theory, block their attacks more and be more accurate. But we need to wield the mirror shield, and stabs are now two-handed, so that's not an option. Could also go and get rune armor, would help maybe the tiniest amount, but then we'd have things in the inventory and it'd still be five trips. Honestly, I feel like this is a don't do the task task here. So I'm going to Birthorp. No thanks, Basilisks. No thanks. Not worth it. Ah, and there they are. Gelatinous abominations. These are the one task on Turiel's list here that do not exist yet. The other ones do, even if the complete task list is not what it's supposed to be. But we don't have an option. I mean, we do have an option. Our option is don't do Slayer until 2012. But no, we're not going to do that. For fighting Gelatinous Abominations, we need to get Spiked Gauntlets is required. Lots of things are required here. It's a bit of a mess. And then we need to go down to the cave. That doesn't exist. <laughs> we got gauntlets that doesn't that don't exist to go to the fight the monsters that don't exist in the cave that doesn't exist. Yeah. We did we have gotten a decent slayer level at this point. But I don't know if that's gonna be enough to get us to 2012. So I think we're actually, we're just gonna do this. It's gonna be fine. And find this weird cave down here somewhere. Um, is that up north more now? This area has been moved around slightly also. I think it is up here by the lake. Is that it? There it is, cave entrance. Leads under the lake. Which does make a little bit of sense for the gelatinous abominations, as they are watery looking guys. I think this is a dragon mace angle. They have no health. Let me just get rid of them here. And then using the spiked gauntlets, we reach in and rip out its heart. Which is pretty wild. And that gives massive animation stall, which is hilarious. Now we're over here. Now we're over here. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's that's looking normal. So yeah, might just end up having to do this every once in a while. Whenever we skip tasks here, the teleporting is pretty hilarious. <laughs> Seems to really be working perfectly normally here. 
<laughs> okay, that's complete. Weird, weird stuff. And grot worms don't exist, so it's back to Birthorp again. Replacement cow task complete. Also, super cow is here. Particularly mean looking cow. That does not exist yet. Super cow. Wild. 56 Slayer. That is a quest requirement. See? <laughs> we totally need to keep training Slayer. Couldn't let things stop us. Crystal Chimes, Warped Terror Birds, and Warped Tortoises. All that is related and does not exist yet. Shadow Warrior's task completed. Another new Slayer Monster task here. Turoths. Mm -hmm. We'll see about that. We need special equipment for dealing with this. So, trade Mastrina. We have options. We have options. We can either buy broad arrows or a leaf bladed spear or a slayer staff. I don't think we could get away with just wielding the broad arrows and using the crystal bow. I don't think that would work. We need a standard magic bow to fire it. So, like a magic short bow. So we could make that. But then we'd have to do that for every task. We'd have to buy the arrows. And troths themselves are specifically much weaker to stab. So I think we might be best off getting the leaf bladed spear. Just make things easier on ourselves. So grab the leaf bladed spear for 31,000 coins, which is not ideal. Leaf bladed spear. It's very pointy. It really is starting to be a long run through this cave here. My goodness. Turoths. They come in a variety of sizes. So I think we just fight the smallest ones here. Probably the best plan. Attack. Oh, then I got too much health. Accuracy is decent. Damage is fine. They do a little damage, though. So maybe aware of that. That's a big hit. My goodness. Yeah, damage wise, accuracy wise, I think we're all right. It's looking okay. This is, even with the range armor on, 82% accuracy. So I think that's pretty good. We can work with that. Drops wise, we've got some salvages, the unique drop of the light mystic robe bottoms, which is always fun. Herbs, coins, and limpet roots. Although the limpet roots are now noted, so those don't actually count. That's all right. And that should be good. So, so far, looks like definitely better than basilisks. Not taking quite as much damage. We will see how it goes. Task complete. It's wild how much weaker these are than the basilisks. Just, just everything low level is just an absolute mess right now. Absolute mess. 57 Slayer. That is fungicide spray for mutated zygomites. Related. Not out yet. Jelly's task complete. It's just so much better than the basilisks. Two trips using crystal bow instead of five trips using the dragon mace. Balancing doesn't exist. Green dragon's task completed. Fought a few at the end here without any protection at all. Only took a little damage. Not, not the best plan, 
probably gonna remember to get a dragon fire shield or anti-dragon fire shield at least for next time ogre task completed nope no desert lizards tutorial replacement birds task completed enjoying the water wheel ogre task completed now that is absolutely a skip otherworldly beings those are in xanaris we cannot go to xanaris without dropping all of our combat equipment and then what then how would we i mean we could buy a dragon longsword in xanaris is there any food we don't need to be considering this. It, it's not happening. Back to Turiel again. Replacement crawling hands task completed. And we're in a convenient location to run back to Mastrina. Although with the Ectophile, it's not really a problem anymore. No killer wants either. Another replacement crawling hands task completed. I guess I could be picking up, like, the gloves and coins or something. Whatever. No crocodiles exist. Replacement gelatinous abomination task completed. Turoth's task completed. I am just keeping the leaf blade spear around. Because alking it and buying it back would lose a ton of money. And we don't really need one more shark for most things. It's working. It's working. Ogre task completed. It's a good thing we're getting so much money here. Buying more law runes and I think also some more nature runes. Vampire's task completed. No crocodiles. Replacement wolf task completed. 76 ranged. And 94 combat. Now that means ranged is our highest combat skill now. Unlocks bolas. Those don't exist yet. Let's finish this task. 58 Slayer. That is Cave Horrors and Unspeakable Horrors. Both don't exist, but are not released at the same time. The Unspeakable ones are later. An interesting monster will be useful, potentially. Not yet. Handshades task completed. That's enough Slayer for now. Let's go and get ready for updates. But first, let's just appreciate how many coins we got here. From those Slayer and range levels, 346,000 coins which is pretty wild. These higher level tasks are really starting to pay off here. Although the drop rates and quantities of things are slightly different, we're, we're trying here. We're trying. Anyways, on to updates. In one small favor last time, Sam Feud taught us how to make a Guthix Rest. And on March 1st, 2005, a bug with the Guthix Rest T was fixed. It was healing you to full every time you took a drink. And you could heal three times per cup of tea. So three full heals per inventory space. A, a little bit overpowered. <laughs> that was clearly not what that tea was supposed to do. So it's now been fixed. Back to just curing some poison, a bit of run energy, and heal you for 5, or 50, or however much, with a little bit of overheal possible. But not to full every time. <laughs> Wild stuff. And also, the friends list server is now twice as fast. Makes going through there and doing the backups and stuff much nicer. On March 7th, 2005, the 
promised Castle Wars rewards were added. There is now hoods, cloaks, and two new armor sets available. They are medium helmets, plate bodies, plate legs, kite shields, and swords. And they are a bit more expensive, which was kind of the idea here, since the first set of armor was so cheap. So now, everyone playing Castle Wars has more rewards to work on, the stats of which are equivalent to Mithril and Adamant, so nothing crazy, especially considering the amount of time it takes to get them, my goodness. Over in the wilderness, for other PvP activities, the team capes now change your team's minimap colors to blue because friends was already green. So your friends will still be green if they're wearing a different team cape. So if your friends aren't on your team, backstabbing and such. And lastly here, we get the next quest. It is Mountain Daughter. Requires 20 agility. And it's related to, but does not require, Fremnic Trials. So, just over here in the Relica area. So, ooh, head over that way. And we'll bring rope and gloves, but also a pickaxe, an axe, a plank, and we can get a pole when we get there. A little bit of combat, decent size. Let's get going. Up in the Fremenic province, right nearby the swaying tree that we cut to make a lyre earlier, there is a new area to go check out. Climb over a rock slide, have a good time. You stay right there, Outerlander. Don't worry, I'm not an Outerlander. I am Rakir, a Fremenic. I said stay there, Outerlander. You're not welcome in our camp. This guard here is guarding a pile of rocks. Interesting job. We're just going to ignore him and just go in anyways. Telling us we can't go into a place. That's not going to stop us. Here we have a camp. Got some camp people in the camp, having a good time. Let's barge in here and talk to the chief. Hamal the chieftain. Hey there. <laughs> Greetings, Outerlander. I am Hamal. I'm the chieftain of this tribe. And my name is Rakir, Honorable Chieftain. Ah, an Outerlander with manners. So, tell me what you want from us. Actually, I'm a Fremenic, not an Outerlander. We are not Fremenic, Outerlander. But you look like Fremenic. And you do not look like a Fremenic. But still claim to be one. Eh, fair. But I will not deceive you. We were part of the Fremenic once. But we left the village of Verlaka long ago. So, what are you doing up here? In the mountains. We left Verleka because we wanted to live closer to nature. We feel that the people of Verleka have grown complacent and rely too much on their tools rather than their skill. And while they share our view on the sanctity of the runestones, they still employ and actively use magic. Their seer is an affront to the gods. And you haven't even seen what he did to his house. What? Anyway. We do not recognize the Council of Verleka, and want nothing more to do with them. We live on rock and stone now, pure and hard. We move on to another part of the mountain slope, when the rough land cannot sustain us anymore. That said, we have tarried at this location for too long, and should be moving on. So why are you still here? For one thing, this side of the mountain is mostly free from the menace of the trolls and the delvings of the deformed dwarves. Rude. 
And, well, you see, my daughter has gone missing. We've been looking for her and cannot go on without her. Maybe the trolls got her? Do not say such things in jest, Outerlander. Besides, stealth and kidnapping is not their way. That's definitely not how trolls are. Trolls are more hit you over the head with a giant club kind of situation. Start, Mountain Daughter. This is the daughter we're looking for, and this is the mountain. So, makes sense. A damsel in distress. I will search for her. Aha, you have spirit, Red Gear. But we do not employ Outerlanders. You don't need to employ me. Just let me look for her. Hmm. That seems acceptable to me. Very well. I will allow you to look for her. I will instruct my people to let you roam about the area freely and give limited consent to them to talk to you. Great. I'll be back with her soon. Just wait here. Oh, I'll be waiting here, all right. We just show up. Like, yeah, I'll solve your problems. Don't even need to worry about it. Let's talk to some of the people here. Hey there. Hello. Trying to help your chieftain here. We don't need any help. Eh, limited. Limited talking is what he agreed to. It's fair. Feel free to come in and see the highlight of our culture, Outerlander. Highlight of your culture, you say? Go into a peculiar looking tent. Examine an ancient rock. Just a big stone, really. We have an option to mine it, but probably shouldn't do that just yet. <laughs> Seems like a not great plan. <laughs> Don't want to mess with them too much just yet. <laughs> we just got permission to talk to them. We don't want to desecrate their sacred monuments <laughs> just yet. <laughs> Let's talk to Jockel here. Do you have any idea where the chieftain's daughter is? That's what we would all like to know. Yep. Grab a pole here. Let's grab in everything we have. Everything that's not tied down. Generally a good plan. Here's a plank. Could pick that up while we we're here right now. Grab some rocks. Always a good time. And nobody here is really talking to us. We're just going to grab some more things here. Here is some mud. We can dig in the mud. Put on our gloves before mud digging. Keep our hands. Yuck, they're all sticky. Leather gloves. Solves that problem. Rocks. Give me the rocks. Alright. Let's get up to the other section here. Let's see if we can find anybody else. Here we have a sparkling, shimmering pool. The pool looks very peaceful. You can also hear faint singing coming from it. Mysterious. Ragnar! So you're the Outerlander whom Hamal said would look for Asleaf. Who? You don't even know her name. I'm sorry, Outerlander. I've not spoken with your kind for a long time and I'm not feeling so well. You see, I was set to marry Asleaf, and the most beautiful woman to ever grace this world. Do you have any idea where she might be? She used to come here every day, you know, whenever our camp was set up in the vicinity. She would come to sing here, her voice reflecting on the mountains and falling into the pool like sparkling silver. Sometimes I think I can still hear her singing. When I follow the sound around the pool, I just end up here again. So, do you have any idea where she might be now? We were supposed to meet here, at the tree by the pool. I think if I wait long enough, maybe she'll show up again. But, you don't actually have any idea where she is right at this moment. If I knew, I wouldn't be standing here, would I? Fair. Let's go out the pool here. Climb a tall tree. Sounds like a good plan. The bark has become slippery with water. You fail to find a suitable hold. Perhaps you could find something to apply to it to make it less slippery. Cover the tree in mud. Great, now the tree bark isn't slippery anymore. We can climb across. Jump up, grab the bark of the tree, crawl along the branch, jump down to the little island. Delightful. Use a pole. 
on the rocks. Plant your pole in the clump of rocks. Successfully jump across. Plank on the flat stones. Place the plank on the two flat stones. And successfully walk across. You can't just put all these agility obstacles here and not expect us to walk all over them. Listen to the pool. See? You can hear soft singing. Sound seems to be coming from the center of the pool. Center of the pool. Center of the pool. You can clearly hear the voice coming from the water now. Right here. Right here. Er, yes? Hello? Listen to me, right here. Listen to what I will say. I think I'm going mad. I know. <laughs> Random voices talking to me. I'm here for it. Hello. Who are you? And where, for that matter? I am all around you. I'm the soft singing in the wind. I'm the faint rippling of the water. I'm the stone of the rocks around you. Well, I suppose that answered both questions, then. I am the voice of Asleaf, daughter of Hamal, son of Wolfgard. Wait, you're Asleaf? I thought I was looking for you. I think I was looking for you. Where are you hiding? Asleaf is no longer in your world. She dwells in the hall of her ancestors now. But I thought you said you were Asleaf. I am but the voice of her, an echo of the past reflected on the water. A tiny part of her spirit. So what exactly do you want from me? I'm greatly concerned for the people who were once my tribesmen. You must help me, Rekir, for their current course will lead to their doom. Er, I don't think they like the idea of me helping them. Listen to me and judge then if you think yourself capable or not. My people have, as is their way, isolated themselves from the rest of the world. There is no one for them to turn to in times of need. Our tribesmen are the children of the Fremenic of Rolaka. The parting was a bitter affair, the two groups never forgave each other. I ask you, Rekir, to bring these two people closer together again. That sounds like something I can do. There's another thing, Rekir, that I ask of you. Yes? My father has not moved camp for far too long. There's very little food now for my people. We must find a new supply of food for them, for I fear the worst. I'm not really a farmer. Yet. I'll have to find someone else. I said, hear that, Rick here. We must do what you think is right. Nah, actually, I will help. Just need to go all the way back through the dialogue again. Since we chose the wrong option. Doop, 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 doop. What you want? Do the things. I can be a diplomat. And I will try a bit of farming. I'll get right on it. So let's see. Peace for Laka and a new supply of food. Thank you, right here. And may the gods bless you on your journey. Alright. Now we just need to return. Turn to shore? Yeah. Walk across. Hop across. Climb up the tree. Very good. Let's see if we can get some help here. I spoke to Asleaf. Really? You found her? Where is she? Tell me. Well, there's something you should know. Yes? Er, she's sort of, well... She's sort of dead. What? Do not say such things. Tell me where you saw her. I didn't actually see her. Not as such. I did talk to her right there on that island in the center of the pool. That island is bare. There is no one there. Not trying to deceive me, Outerlander. She is not dead and you did not talk to her. Fine, then. Don't believe me. He is in denial. Which is fair. Let's go talk to the other people here. Kind of just the people with names. Because that's usually the more important people. Like Jockle here. How goes the goat herding? It goes, Outerlander. Times are hard here at the moment. We've been here too long. There's not much food left or places where I can take my goats. Well, I'm trying to find a new supply of food for your people. Any ideas on where to start? 
If only it were so easy. That being said, yes, I've heard there's a certain kind of fruit that will grow even here in the mountains. What's the name of the fruit? It's called White Pearl, named after its white appearance. Any idea where I could find some? I do not know. I believe it grows mainly in the mountains and can grow in even the most difficult circumstances. We cannot move on until we find the chieftain's daughter, and we do not generally move far inland, but perhaps you can search for it. See what I can find. So we have a lead on the food situation. Just need to find a fruit. That'd be a very good addition to the current goat-based diet they have. I have found your daughter, chieftain. We, re we really need to ease into these conversations better. It's not helping. Getting everyone's hopes up like this, my goodness. Where is she? Tell me, Outerlander. Well, er, she is dead. Do not play games with me. I gave you leave to work, to walk about our camp, not to trick us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Different subject here. About the people of Rolaka. Why do you hate them so much? We do not hate them, Outerlander, but we do not approve of their ways either. But don't you basically believe in the same things? It's true that our beliefs are not all that different, but we have a different way of applying them, a stricter way. So you've never considered, say, making peace with them? We are not at war with them, Outerlander, but we try to ignore each other. But I must admit I have, in fact, sent out a representative to Rolecca to talk about improving relations, perhaps setting up a basic trade route. My daughter was always asking me to do that, and now that she is not here right now, thought perhaps it was the right thing to do. Great. I was worried for a moment that I'd have to go through the whole peacemaking thing again. Unfortunately, we have not heard from Sviti, our representative, for a few days. I would not be surprised if those ignorants in Roleka are holding him captive. Ah, I was waiting for something like that. Shall I go look for him as well, then? Do as you wish, Outerlander. Everyone's missing! And about your food supplies... I'm looking for some bushes that carry white pearl fruit. Do you know where I could find any? Weren't you the one who was supposed to be looking for it for me? Oh yes, good point. Just, just wondering. I'll be, I'll be going. So, we need to find a fruit and another missing person. We'll just get the person here first. They were sent to Rolaka. So we're gonna go that way. And guard. Can you come and help me? The chieftain's daughter? No, Outerlander. I'm guarding this mountain pass from trolls and inquisitive people like you. Doesn't look like you're very successful in that last regard. If the chieftain would let me, I would correct that oversight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, Outerlander, and do not hurry back. I'm gonna bring you food and trade routes and peace and everything. Fine. Rude. A decent guard, though. Except for the part where we keep on getting past. But alright. Hey, there is Sviddy right there. Hey, Sviddy. Are you by any chance, Sviddy? Sent by Hamal to t talk to Brunt at the Council of Verleka. He's just walking away. <laughs> Maybe. Who's asking? You're an Outerlander, aren't you? Yes, but Hamal asked me to rescue you from a Verlecan prison. What are you doing here? I haven't actually been in Verleka yet. Why? Can't you find the way? It's, it's, it's right. It's right over there. <laughs> well, I'm not actually sure if I should go in there, you see. Why not? I've always been told that the people of Roleka are ignorance, almost as bad as other Outerlanders. I think they might kill me if I go there. Nonsense. I'm an Outerlander, and I haven't killed you either. Yes, but you're on your own. They have a whole village. So I don't want to go in there. I don't want to go back to the camp and tell them all that I didn't dare go to Roleka either. Can't I persuade you to go in there somehow? I won't go in there unless I know it's safe. You want me to go with you as your bodyguard? You? But you're an Outerlander. You'd probably lead me to a cave to kill you, kill me yourself. 
What if I get you some kind of guarantee of safe passage from the village? Will that do? Hmm. Yes, that will do. All right. Guarantee of a safe passage. Coming right up. We can probably pull a few strings here. As a... Since I'm relaxing here. We got a whole friend nickname and everything. Rocking it. Go talk to the chieftain. We just barge in places. Talk to the leaders. It works out. Most of the time. About the mountain camp. The chieftain from the mountain camp has sent a representative to Rilaka. That is intriguing news, Rakira. We have not seen him yet. Well, that's the problem. He doesn't dare to come into Rilaka. He's afraid he's going to get hurt. What? He's not much of a warrior, is he? That's what I thought. He says he wants a guarantee of safety. I will meet with this man on one condition, Rakir. When their group split off from Rilaka, they stole one of the ancient relics of the Fremenic, our ancient rock. Ancient rock? What did it do? Do? Did it contain vast magical powers? <laughs> Amusing, Rakir. But as Fremenic yourself, you know better than that. The rock was just that, a rock. It had no special properties and was, in essence, no different from any other rock. So what did it mean? It symbolized our refusal to use the rune stones for ourselves, instead of relying on our own abilities. The people you spoke of took the stone with them when they left for the mountains. They claimed their way of living was more pure and closer to nature. And is that true? Maybe. <laughs> Where's the harm in a bit of feasting from time to time? In any case, before the council and I meet with anyone from their camp, we will have to get our rock back. They want the rock back. We saw the rock. It sits over in there. So let's go get the rock back. They let us into the place with the rock. We had the option to mine the rock. So we're, we're going to go mine the rock now. Here we go. Messing with cultural artifacts. Bringing a pickaxe to him. Generally, not the best plan. We're, we're kind of winging this for the most part. Th things mostly usually work out. So, we're gonna just be our chaotic selves here. You gonna let me over the rock slide? I suppose I might as well let you pass now, since I can't seem to stop you anyway. Just remember that I'm watching you. And you should probably watch us a little harder. We're gonna go desecrate your sacred monuments. Luckily, it's in a tent, where we can easily go and desecrate it, as we do. Hey, hey, mine this rock. Take a look around and see none of the camp dwellers about. <laughs> split it in half, my goodness. With a few swings of your pick, you split off a part of the rock and sneakily put it in your pocket. That's an... What do you got there, Outerlander? It's not a rock, is it? No, of course not. See? It's a completely different rock. It's much smaller. Alright, you be on your way then. Not even gonna check it? Yeah, fine. Putting a rock in our pocket. This has half a rock. A piece of the ancient rock of the mountain people. Still just a stone. Putting something in our pocket doesn't necessarily mean whatever size it is. We've got, we've got some large things in our pocket. Like an entire shark, and apparently half of that rock. Got some good pockets. Got some good pockets here. Anyways. We did not even bother asking, because they probably wouldn't have even given it, us, given it to us. We're just taking our own initiative here. Trying to accomplish what we're trying to accomplish here. One half of a rock. Hey Brent, how you doing? Mountain camp. I've brought you back your rock. Really? Let me see. This rock seems a lot smaller than our bard made it out to be. Well, it's not the whole rock. It's part of the rock. I split it in two. <laughs> you truly have the Fremenic spirit in you, right here. Yes, we are satisfied with sharing the rock. I'll meet with this representative and will inform the council to join us here in the long haul. Although I see that Manny is already here. 
reveling, as per usual. Can I have that guarantee of safe passage to give to the representative? Oh yes, here it is. Guarantee of safe passage. Woo! All right. So that's gonna be back towards the camp. We also need to bring something else back, specifically the fruit. So let's go get the fruit. They told us that it is white, lives in the mountains, and they don't go inland very far. So it's gonna be a bit further away than other places. So we need to go up a mountain, have a good time. And the mountain in question is going to be White Wolf Mountain. We have a few options for going there. We're just going to take the known glider. That puts us just where we need to be. We would have seen this while doing our Slayer tasks and everything if this bush right here existed prior to this update. But pick from thorny bushes. Stick your hands in the sharp thorns. Put on gloves. Try again. Your gauntlets protect you from the thorns as you pick the white pearl fruit. This time we actually did need the closed finger gloves. Like the nettles. Some things work, some things don't. White pearl fruit. Should taste good. Munch. Heal ourselves from the prickliness. Now we have the white pearl seed. Brilliant. So now we need to get back to Roleka, which is a little bit more of a trek. Teleport to Camelot and then take the paths. Would be slightly faster if a certain agility shortcut existed. But that's not the case. So we just run them back to the Fremnic province. Talk to Svinny here. Bruns gave me the guarantee of safe passage to give to you. Let me see that. I want to be sure it's authentic. Here you go. Hmm. Okay, this looks valid enough. I'll go talk to Brunt. Great. I'm just going to let him do the whole diplomacy business for them. We could just forge some documents too. That wouldn't be above us. But at least have to let them try there. Still can't stop us. Going in. Here is that and this. I'll let us bring this in. Very good. Very good. Talk to the chieftain. Oh gosh. We just killed a guy. You okay with that? What is the Outerlander? What about the people of Rolaka? I did it. I persuaded Brunt to speak to your representative. Indeed, Outerlander. And how did you accomplish that without giving him our rock? Well, yeah. I need to talk to you about that. Hurry not. You made a wise decision, and your boldness is impressive. I, it does not matter, after all, how large the rock is, or what shape it is. And perhaps the two halves of the rock will have extra symbolism now, representing the two halves of the Fremnic culture. I understand that Svinny's meeting with Brunt went quite well. I must thank you for your assistance, Outerlander. And about your food supplies, I found this seed that may be of interest to you. Interesting. What is it? It's the seed of the white pearl fruit. It grows on White Wolf Mountain, even in the snow. With luck, you'll be able to grow it here as well. I brought you one seed. <laughs> it's a great gift back here, which I humbly accept. All right, there you go. What is it, Outlander? Never mind. All right, back to the lake spirit to see what we need to do next. Because we accomplished what they wanted. Right back out here. Unfortunately, we can't hear the voice while standing on the outer shore. So we need to take a bit of a trek here again. Cross this. Cross that. Do a nice pole vault. Always a good time. The blank is larger. One place there. I'm 
mystery. What a mystery. Well, we'll listen to the pool. Hey, um, Astley of Spirit thing? Hello? Yes, right here. I did what you asked me to. I improved the relations between Rolaka and the mountain camp, and I found a new supply of food. Yes, right here. I can sense that it is so. So do you have any other requests for me? Perhaps with some bigger rewards? I do not fully understand what you speak of, but I do have one more task I would like you to do. My father does not believe that I am dead. In his heart he knows it to be true, but he cannot accept it. You must convince him, Rekir. Once you have convinced my father, everyone else in the camp will follow him. Then, perhaps, they can move on again. How do I do that exactly? I don't think I'll be able to get him down to this little island. I must leave that to you. All I know is that I was attacked by some creature or animal while I was sitting by the lake. It dragged me off, and I remember nothing else. Perhaps this will help you. I can't provide further assistance. Okay. While by the lake. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Slip and fall in the water. And find something to help you across. We managed to get to shore. And honestly, that ended up being exactly where we wanted to be. The southern shore doesn't really have any where for animals to attack. So we're going to come up this way. Chop away through some dead bushes here. I guess it's technically a tree. A little short for a tree. It's a small tree. Enter a cave. And now, we're in a cave. Ain't that fun. And in this cave, we've got piles of corpses and the Kendall. Is that a bear or a man? Er, hello? Who dares to disturb my slumber? It's just me. No one special. I'm Rick here. Have you come, then, to pay your respects? How exactly do I do that? With your blood, mortal. You mean a sacrifice? You're some kind of god? I'm the guardian of the mountain. The god of the northern lands. I move the earth and control the skies. I am the Kendall. I seek your advice, O oh, great one. I seek the cowardly murderer of a young lady of a nearby clan of mountain people. You know where I can find this person? I'm not here to answer questions of trivial nature. Go now, before your do doom befalls you, mortal. Fair guy. It's me, of whom many legends are sung. You are brave to come into my cave and say a thing like that. Yeah, I'm pretty cool. Kendall. Uh, slumber? Not disturbing your slumber, you don't seem to be sleeping. Don't mock me, mortal. We're just messing around with the giant bear guy here. Come to pay our respects. We got sacrifice? You look like a man in a bear suit. No one's gonna make a sacrifice to you. What did you say, mortal? I said you look like a man wearing a bear suit. How'd you figure that out? How did you know? I just said you looked like a man wearing a bear suit. I didn't know you were. So, what are you doing here, pretending to be a god? Ah, uh, the people that live in the mountains here? They are a superstitious lot. They fear few things, but magic and gods, they're scared to death of. So I took on the guise of one of their legends. It's a good way of being left alone. And you leave them alone as well? Ah, you're referring to the skeletons you see here. Well, I did. Most of the time, at least. When there was no troll to be ambushed, I had to eat. Did you kill a young lady by the lake just recently? Recently? Oh no. The entrance you came through has been blocked off for a good many years now. I've only seen trolls and the occasional stray dwarf since then, until you came along. But yes, more than ten years ago, I did kill someone like that. Can I see the corpse? I'd like to make sure of something. She's just over there, in the center, with the dress. I did not eat her after I killed her. She was too beautiful for that. I felt sorry for killing her, but by then it was already too late. Yes, she does match the description I was given. It is her, after all. I humbly request to be given the remains so I can return them to her father. I cannot do that. 
They knew I wasn't a god, and if her father knew I killed his daughter, the whole tribe would come in here at once and I'd be finished. I guess I'll have to kill you myself. <laughs> come and try. The Kendall. Level 32. Bop. Dead. <laughs> just, just slightly weaker than he originally would have been. Take corpse of one. There you go. And there you go. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Exit the cave. And get back towards the camp here. These trees appear to return very quickly, which is wild. Magic trees, perhaps. Probably not. Anyways. Got a corpse of woman. And also a bear head, which is interesting. We check the loadout here. We're gonna do it at the same time. Yep. The bear head is a helmet. It's pretty fancy. Originally, was pretty good as far as helmets with level one defense requirements were concerned. Had some decent defensive stats, so it was fairly popular. But with the evolution of combat, it now has no stats. It's purely cosmetic, so it is what it is. Not that we have had much use for it anyways, since we have 75 defense and many better options. Let's talk to Chieftain here again. You know there's a strange bear-like thing in a cave near the pool? Yes, it is the Kendall. Only the cave is hidden behind some trees, you see. What? You mean you know that already? Of course. We planted the trees there ourselves many years ago. It is unwise to come close to a god, so we made sure no one would go there anymore. But he's... But... But... He's not a god. He's a man in a bear suit, and he killed your daughter. And why didn't you tell me she'd been missing for more than ten years? Fourteen years, to be exact. And I didn't say otherwise, did I? Sir... As for the Kendall, what proof have you of these serious acquisitions? Well, I've only gone and killed him, haven't I? You have? Then we've made an enormous mistake. As did he. Impersonating a god bears the highest penalty imaginable. I did not think that kind of justice would be delivered by the hand of an outerlander. Also found your daughter. The bear man killed her. So it is true, then, after all. Let me see her body, please. Of course. Yes, I see it is her. So it is all true they spoke to her spirit at the pool? Yes, it's true. Then she must be buried there, on the island at the center of the pool, to bring peace to her spirit. This is a most unusual situation. Will you bury her, Rick here? I will. Then please listen closely. She is given a proper burial, which is to be buried with some of her possessions. She see, I, she, I see she's still wearing her dress, so we need one more item. When she has been buried, we must build a cairn on top. It is our tradition to be build these cairns in the shape of our longboats, so that we, that we use when we need to cross the seas. You can use rocks for this purpose, about five or so. Should be enough. Only then are the burial rites complete. So I need to bury her with one of her possessions and build a cairn on top made of rocks. So where do I get another one of her possessions? I see you've had very little possessions in life, and none that have survived the years. I do not know where you might find such a thing, but perhaps Ragnar does out by the pool. Very likely. Very likely. I only need five rocks. Drop a rock. Just lugging around rocks. Luckily they don't seem to be super heavy rocks. We are managing. Continuing to get value of the boots of lightness here. Not that any other better boots even exist, but still. Ragnar! I heard the news from Hamal, Outerlander. Alas, I have known this had to be so for a long time, but Hamal just didn't want to listen. Uh-huh. Well, Hamal asked me to bury her with some of her possessions, but he doesn't have any anymore. Do you have anything that may help? I'm not altogether sure. I do have one thing that may be appropriate. 
I was going to give her a necklace when we were supposed to meet here many years ago. I still have it, and since it was a gift for Asleaf, technically it's hers. Take it, Afterlander. Bury it with her. It'll be my parting gift. Thank you. I'll make sure she's given a proper burial now. All right. Back out to the middle. Climb the tree. Use the pole. And walk the plank. 20 agility requirements. Not too shabby. Let's talk to the spirit one last time here. We'll listen to the pool. Um, as leave, hello? Yes, Rick here. I convinced your father about your death. He asked me to give you a proper burial here on the island. Then my father made a wise decision. Please proceed. Well, it's kind of awkward. Can we be silent while I bury you? Hello? All right, well, I better get on with it then. <laughs> yeah, just talking to someone while they're being buried. It's a situation. You dig a hole in the ground and carefully lay down the skeleton of the chieftain's daughter. Together with her necklace, you then close the hole, creating a small burial mound. And all you need to do is build a cairn on top. Rocks. There you go. You think you hear a soft thank you as the singing quiets down. Congratulations. You've completed Mountain Daughter. Quest complete. Two quest points. 1,000 attack XP, 2,000 prayer XP, the now cosmetic bear head, and access to the mountain camp. There you go. Always up for some more prayer XP. So, that's a win. Turn to shore, sure. Although we're really are just going to be teleporting out of here anyways. Let's talk to everybody after the quest is done. Just to get some more dialogue, perhaps. It's most unusual, Outerlander. They were able to help us in this manner, but you have my thanks. Please, now, leave me alone for a while. I'll watch the rippling of the water. Yeah, just because closures happen doesn't mean things are immediately better or anything. And they also still have the singular seed for which to make food for everyone. Maybe they can move on now, but... Maybe they don't need to. You are un you are unusually helpful for an Outerlander, right here. Eh, thanks, I guess. <laughs> We're pretty helpful. We show up, we do things. Camp Dweller, how you doing? I've heard about all the things you did for us. I was happy to help. And I'm happy that you helped us. Maybe now this place can get a bit more cheerful again. Eh, I couldn't get much less cheerful. <laughs> That's fair. Hello. Hello. Cordial, if nothing else. Hey, guard. You see I broke the rock? You gonna go see the highlight of culture again? Uh -huh. Chieftain. Hey, there. Your most usual outlander. The Council of Rileka was wise to make you an honorary Fremenic. You have my thanks, in any case. So, what are you all gonna do now? Are you finally going to move to another location? No, I've decided to set up a permanent camp here. There is no need to move now with our new s supply of food. Also, there is a protective spirit looking after us now. I thought you didn't believe in magic. How little do you understand our ways? Of course we believe in magic. We merely believe it is not for the living to wield it. Many spirits are connected with the earth or the water. There is the draugen, for instance, a malevolent spirit. Oh yeah, I ran into him. Have you? We do not approve of the Fremnic hunt. The dragon should be left alone, evil though it is. Perhaps you have also come across the Fossil Yes, I have. Now that is a spirit that is quite different from the dragon. She is, perhaps, not entirely dissimilar to the Mountain Dottier. The Mountain what? You would call her Mountain Daughter. Asleaf is no longer my daughter. She belongs to the mountains now. All right. So what exactly happened to your daughter? I cannot say exactly. I believe some of her spirit must have fused with the pool she loved so much. She's no longer my daughter, but the daughter of the mountain. We will stay here under her protection. With our new food supplies, 
to be able to stay here for many years more. All right, I'll be off. Very interesting. Safe journey, Outlander. And I'm sure we're going to have safe journeys and also incredibly dangerous journeys as things progress here. But we'll see what kind of journey we go on next time. <laughs> Goodbye.